That's a new business model. You know, like, um, um, we kind of we, we don't talk about that much. And somebody smarter than me needs to actually write a white paper on this. Because um, design is, as a profession is not that old. It's about as old as me. It's about 40 years old in this country. Yeah. Like be, before that, it was sequestered inside of printing companies and it was trapped inside of ad companies and it had funny different places where it lived. Um, and it evolved through a kind of a competitive model. Like if you talk to other cities, certainly they live in that kind of terrible competitive model. But Minneapolis is a blessed place and I've, I, and I've very decidedly decided to live here after designing in other parts of the planet and living overseas for a while mm -hmm. it's a very blessed place where you do have a lot of really helpful place and maybe it's the weather because you're gonna die if you look <laughs> outside like there's a constant specter of death surrounding you because really if we didn't have this carriage if we didn't have Raleigh we'd die here yeah. we, we would yeah, die very so quickly die. I mean God bless those forefathers I don't know how the how they did that <laughs> Um, but it's a, it's a big deal. Like obviously, I've been referred work from you, and and vice versa, and and it should really be that way. Like yeah. certainly, you know, we're not fighting over the oxygen we're breathing. Um, no, there's always been plenty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, far. But I, I feel, I, but I, I also feel like it is it is like people like you and and people you know like Sharon and Wink and and a lot of these smaller businesses that we've always looked up to, and I think like it's part of the small business model that we've kind of you know taken upon ourselves and and has really come from these people and, and seeing them do it. And I think it's great. And I think it's a, like, I, I think that open um, back and forth is our, those are the people that we like to work with too. So it's like, I think it's a matter too of just like having that own community within a community even mm -hmm. to some degree of just people like sharing and, you know, and, and being open to that and knowing that, you know, if you can't work on this, I know another guy, I know yeah. this other girl, like, you know that can do it or let work let's collaborate together i think we're really we really like collaborating with people mm -hmm. rather than you know working under them or you know what i mean like sure. having them work under us even i would much rather just collaborate and let's do it for the project let's do it because we love it you yeah. know like who have you collaborated with you recently in the past year or so that you guys have really discovered and thought it was a fun a fun yeah. collaboration i i Pop Life has yeah. been. What do they great. do? Or just explain what they do, because I, I don't fully know. Yeah, they're just a de they're a develop not just, but they're they're yeah. a, they're a development you know firm and they. That term development is so misleading because I, there's like yeah. there are so many dark arts inside of development. Yeah. You might you'd rather call them and alchemists. They, yes, and um, they, have, uh, they have like some animation and After Effects skills too. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. yeah, and they you know they just do a lot of you know the HTML coding, the CSS, the Flash coding. Like they're really I'm someone. Sorry, Yep. And yep. And this and the same with same with Puny actually. Like they've been our two biggest collaborators, I would say. Yeah, and they've been great. And they've been the same way. Like I, I love working with developers that yep. are going to take it take your design to the next level and co and collaborate with you and, and aren't naysayers because I think like I think in design <laughs> the mannering nabobs yeah, of negativity any any <laughs> vendor you know what I mean sometimes you have to find that right vendor that works with you that is going to be like okay I see what you want to do here let's talk let's let's come up with some ideas like let's let's make it right you know mm -hmm. let's work together on and it and take some ownership know? like the best yes. the best developer is the one that really says no it's my project yes. so yeah, just, yeah, yeah. they just yeah. wrap their arms around it and they yeah. really bring everything to it yeah and that's we have, hard to find yeah we have one developer found Room 34, a guy named Scott Anderson that we oh, work with, yeah. who just did uh, the CDES website, mm -hmm. did the College of Design website with Steve, nice. and uh, just finished the Ordway website oh. with Andrew, mm -hmm. and I think he's actually going to do the next generation of our site, just yeah, because awesome. he's such a big monster brainiac and yeah. so much smarter than we are, which yeah. I fundamentally appreciate. Yeah, but you need those people, <laughs> you know what I mean? I think like, you know, for us as a, you know, the, a place that does interactive and a, you know, a small place that does interactive, it's really hard to keep up on that technology and it's really faster and faster getting it out of the hands of the designers. And you have to make a decision clearly because that's that's and actually have, that, that's yeah, actually that's a good totally. that's a good uh, it's a good segue into this question because obviously you do immaculate interactive work. You've done act, immaculate interactive work uh, with me in the past on projects, which I've really valued. Um, but when people we're going hear, we're on some rough road right now. I, know, yeah. <laughs> actually, I think we just rolled over a hobo, so there's actually <laughs> oh, might sorry. be several. So we'll see. In, we'll see in a little bit. Um, <laughs> Steve, do you need a resnuggle? Do you need a resnuggle? Does anybody need a resnuggle?